What up, Puck Squad? It has been a while since my last video, and when I say a while, I mean 58 days since my last video. And I've been making videos now since 2016, so I'm going on seven years of making videos for this channel, and I don't think I've ever taken such a long break. Honestly, it was just due to being up in New England, having a tough winter, and I've still been playing here and there. I've been playing Team Challenge. I've been playing sporadic rounds here and there. I just really haven't had the motivation to get out and film a bunch this winter, but I have still been kind of playing and keeping my game sharp. Honestly, my backhand feels better than ever. My flick feels a little bit rusty, which normally is flip-flopped and normally my flick is the one that's really consistent and my backhand is the one that's kind of like up and down but right now my backhand feels solid and my flick feels like the timing might be just a little bit off i am excited to get back out here today and just play some disc golf and film some disc golf for you guys and we honestly have a ton to catch up on so like i said it's been almost two full months since my last video i've gotten a few packages of discs to do some reviews on so we're going to flight test a bunch of new discs today and also I changed my bag. I had the same black and orange Latitude 64, I think it's a luxury E3 bag, and I've had that for going on six years. I think I've had it pretty much the entire time that I've had this channel. So for me to finally switch bags to the new Discmania Fanatic uh, Sky bag, I have just been so happy with this and having padded straps that actually have pads in them that aren't worn so super thin just feels really nice to have like a nice bag on my shoulders again. Today we are going to be flight testing all these new discs. So starting off we have the new S-Line plastic. So I have S-Line PDs, I have S-Line FDs, I'm really excited to try the S-Line FDs, and I also have S-Line DD3s. So this package came out a little while ago and then I got another package with C-Line FD1s. These feel so nice. The, the rim feels a little bit small in my hand, so I'm questionable on how this thing's going to fly for me, how I'm going to like power grip it or if I'm going to fan grip it, but we have the C-Line FD1s. We also have the new Paradigms. I am really excited to try these Paradigms, especially on a backhand, see if I can really get it to kind of flip up and glide for a while. And then we also have two new XO Horizon FD3s which I've always been a big FD3 thrower. I've had the purple C-Line FD3 in my bag for probably going on five years now, and just holding these in my hand, these feel so money. So I'm excited to try these FD3s on a nice forehand line. So, and we also, can't forget about these bad boys, got the two new, I think they're Flex, Flex 3, yeah, Flex 3 D-Line Glow Rainmakers. So gonna be throwing these, maybe putting these a little bit. I did bring them out to my local practice basket the other day just to kind of work them in a little to see if they would replace my prototype P2s. They didn't necessarily replace them, but they did feel really solid out there. I just, it was only like a 15 minute practice putting session, so I didn't really get to work them in that much, but we're gonna be throwing and putting with these too. So we have a ton of new flights to check out today. I'm happy to be back. It's a beautiful day today. It's like 50 degrees out here at Borderland, and I'm just gonna have a good time and kind of get back to my roots and give you guys a nice solo round of just throwing and checking out all these new flight paths. So if you're excited to have me back, make sure to drop a like and drop a sub because I'm going to be putting out a ton of stuff this spring and summer. So hope you guys enjoy. Start out with a nice rainmaker throw up the right side here. Still's got a little bit of overstability right out the gate. Let's try a nice forehand line with the Horizon FD3. Holy! Oh, these are beefcakes. Wow! Probably the most overstable run of FD3 I've ever thrown. Those FD3s are so overstable, but that's honestly gonna be a good compliment to the one that I have now. And now I'm gonna be walking up to hole two, which I'm gonna be able to throw pretty much every single disc that I have out here, because it's one of the only like quote unquote 
wide open holes out here at Borderland. So I'm just gonna try to get as many flights as I can on this next hole. I'm gonna go slow to fast. So I'm gonna start with the putters, rainmakers. So I early released that one a little bit, but it still just glided straight. It really didn't fade that much, so that was still nice to see. I've been really excited to try these discs out, the brand new S-Line FDs. I haven't even thrown these yet, but I heard they were maybe a little bit on the understable side. I'm gonna throw them just on a tad of hyzer. Hopefully they flip up and glide, but if they turn over, we'll just have to wait and see. Bruh. I'm gonna try the S-Line PDs. Maybe I'll backhand one and maybe I'll forehand the other. I'm gonna put this one probably on a little bit of ante because this is probably gonna be overstable. I'm still warming up the arm, so I'm really just throwing like 70% on most of these, but maybe I'll do the same thing with these FD ones. I'll try a backhand and a forehand. I normally don't forehand even regular S-Line FDs, but we'll give this one a try. It feels a little bit stiff, so could be a little bit more overstable than those FDs. Oh, definitely more overstable. All right, so the FD one is pretty overstable. I'm gonna backhand this one again, but I'm gonna throw it on like a good amount of ante this time. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at throwing on ante. I kind of just grip locked it rather than threw it on Anheuser. But those FD1s are pretty overstable, honestly. We'll go up to the Paradigms now. I really want this to be like a faster FD, pretty much. Yeah, that was actually nice. I really like the way that those paradigms fly. I'm kind of curious. I'm a big Enigma thrower and I throw the DD3s a lot. That kind of reminded me of like an Enigma flight. I wish I brought an Enigma to do a comparison with, but I didn't. So I'm going to throw the DD3s now. Okay. Settled. I'm so used to throwing my like two year old DD3 that I don't even remember the last time I threw a brand new DD3. I'm gonna have to put this like a little more flat, maybe a touch of any. There it is. That one was good. All right, now that I've thrown my arm out on the second hole of the day, we're good to keep going. <laughs> we're at hole three and this hole is pretty short it's up there on the hill on the left i'm just gonna be throwing the rainmakers maybe the fd1s on this hole but let's see if we can draw some metal here PD on a flex flick. It is such a beautiful day out here right now. This is the type of weather I've just been waiting for. Super calm. I think it's like low 50s right now. I think it's like 51 or 52, where you're still in pants and a hoodie and you still feel pretty good, but you're starting to warm up a little bit. 
it just feels so nice to have springtime finally come around. DD3 flex flick right up the right up the middle here. That was actually perfect, like right off the gate. Let's see, twice earth luck, says Simon. Wow. That got a huge flare skip at the end, too. And for anyone wondering, that's probably about a 375 foot forehand tiny bit downhill but for the most part it's just a pretty flat shot um, and yeah got a really big flare skip on the second one there so i'm very comfortable throwing dd3s on those flex flicks i always throw that line on this hole with my normal dd3 but let's see how the paradigm does on a little bit of a flex flick So admittedly I put that one on more hyzer than the DD3 was a little bit more flat, but it still flipped up and as soon as it started to lose speed it really kind of dove and did like another flare skip kind of like the DD3 did, but it didn't turn as much as I thought it was going to. That was the fourth flick in a row, just kind of like maybe got a little lazy on my form and I did throw it like low to the ground, but it, as you saw it just glided and held and... My battery just died at the end of that clip, but what I was saying was that the paradigm was a little bit lower than the rest and maybe my form was getting a little bit lazy because I just done four pretty much full power flicks in a row, but the paradigm still seems like a pretty solid flick disc. So before this video ends, I'm gonna try to flick those at least one more time. So right now during the winter, the white positions are in alternate position and you can see that white cap right there is where the A position is and one of my purple DD3s landed within 10 feet of that one. And then I've actually never really gotten my flicks all the way right enough to get to this uh, Alt B position. And the paradigm is putting probably about 28, 30 feet. And one of the DD3s that got a huge flare skip is literally parked. And I don't think I've ever even parked that hole in a real round, so it's kind of crazy. Alright. That one landed like right in the middle of the gap pretty much. FD3, see if we can bite this one all the way around the corner. Okay. Or oh, way more Anheuser, holy crap. Okay, those are so overstable. Yeah, those paradigms actually fly really straight on the forehand. So I haven't tried forehanding the FD1s. I'm going to give that a go because these are pretty overstable on my backhand. So could be a good forehand disc for me. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it has as much bite on the forehand as it does for me on my backhand. I've thrown a lot more shots than you guys have actually seen in this video, so my arm is getting pretty tired here. So I just skipped from 9 all the way to 17, and we are going to wrap this thing up. That's solid.
Safe. Wild Mahoney sighting. Oh, and a poppy sighting behind him. That's gonna wrap things up. My arm is definitely feeling it. Like I said, you guys definitely didn't see all the shots that I threw out here today. Flip. Oh, so close. Oh, so close to being perfect. And when you play just like a regular round, you shoot anywhere between, you know, like a 50 to say a 65, depending on what course you're playing or what par is and stuff. Really only 20 of those shots, probably 20, 25 of those shots are full power in a real round. But I just threw a ton of full power shots and my arm is definitely feeling it, especially because I haven't been consistently playing as much as I normally do. But I'm looking forward to getting out there and maybe doing a couple comparisons on some of these discs. I would love to do a comparison with the Paradigms compared to like an Enigma, maybe even the DD1. That'd be a nice comparison video with those three discs. Kind of nice comparison video would be to do the new Horizon FD3 with that new C-Line FD3 and then maybe even the one that I bag. Maybe compare some of the new S-Line plastic to some of the older S-Line plastic. Maybe compare the FD1 to the FD. So there are a lot of comparison videos that I can do with all these molds that I got. But I just had a lot of fun just getting out there and throwing them as much as I could and just kind of seeing for myself how they fly. I think for the most part I like the S-Line FDs. Those are great. The Rainmaker throws really good. I didn't do much putting with it today, and like I said at the beginning, I did practice putt with it a couple days ago, but it didn't really show me enough to replace my D-Line uh, prototype P2s. So it was just nice getting out here and throwing these a bunch. I probably didn't throw the FD1 and the PDs as much as I would have liked to, but I did, I did the best I could with kind of what I was given and kind of the holes that we have here at Borderland. But it was just nice to get back out here and play and just get out in the sun and just feel the nice warm weather and not have any ice or snow or anything underneath our feet while we're throwing. It was just so much fun to get out here again and kind of break the ice and get back into kind of making videos and kind of playing a little bit more heading into the spring here. So Bombers made finals which are on April 15th so if you made it this far in the video make sure to leave a comment wishing us good luck at finals because it would be so cool to be one of the top two that come out of finals and move up to B pool from C pool. We've been in C pool for so many years now that it would just be so cool to, to finally move up. But if you made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Drop a like if you enjoy, drop a sub if you want to see more. Like I said, got a lot planned for this spring and summer. And yeah, hope you enjoyed checking out all these different flights and kind of taking a peek at this new bag. I really enjoy this bag. My arm is sore from throwing all these discs, but my back is not sore from holding this bag this whole round. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, take a look at the Discord. I haven't been in the Discord that much, and before I came out here today, I hopped in the Discord just to like look at different things, and I'm gonna throw a little clip here at the end from the Clips and Highlights tab that definitely gave me a chuckle. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Oh, and a link to the Discord will be in the description. So check that out if you're into Discord. Hi, baby. Connor was like, um, <laughs> on my post. That's my double doubles partner. You better be ready or something. He oh, said on the borderline post. On the post. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Dude, you better, better bring the smoke. That's my doubles partner or something. Mm -hmm.